everybody, I'm sure all of you have heard of the Ambassador car and the Fiat Premier Padmani cars. Well, they were in vogue when I was young. We have driven both the Ambassador and the Premier Padmani cars and these were quite unique. They used to come with what's known as column mounted gears. Yes, their gear shifts were very close to the steering wheel. So when you're driving, you used to change gears like that with your hand. Now everything is floor mounted. We're going to show you the yesteryear's ambassador car and how a column mounted gear lever looked like and how the interiors of that car looked like. It's so different from some of the modern cars of today where the interiors and exteriors are absolutely different and amazing. But before I get into the details of this uh, show, let me tell you the video inputs were given by a young lad by the name of Pramit Hazra. He is based out of Kolkata and he called me one day and told me that he wants to become an auto journalist. I kind of dissuaded him from uh, joining this profession and, and asked him what his father did. He said his father was a car restorer. I told him to join his father's business and prosper. But in the meantime, I asked him to do an assignment, which he did fairly well. He got in touch with a relative of his and managed to get an old ambassador car, drove it around, took some videos, and these inputs have been quite critical. Before I get into the details of the column mounted gears, let me also tell you this ambassador car was manufactured by Hindustan Motors. And this was done somewhere in a place called Uttarpara. And how many of you know that this company had a railway station to its name? Yes, I've been there. So that's quite unique about this company. Let me also make it clear, this Ambassador brand is no more with Hindustan Motors. It's now sold to Citroen of France. And that company is now part of the PSA group. And that again is part of a bigger group that goes by the name of Stellantis. Stellantis, as we all know, is the merger of Fiat Chrysler Automobiles and the PSA Group of France. So eventually, the ambassador is owned by this big Stellantis group. Now let me get back to the video. This is the Motown India show and my name is Roy P. Tharian. The Hindustan Motors Ambassador was based on the Morris Oxford Series 3 model. The Ambassador car, which was fondly called Ambi, went through seven generations throughout its production and till its fourth generation had column mounted gears, which cannot be seen in modern cars. Modern cars today have floor mounted gears that can either be manual or automatic. Some top end cars have column mounted gears, but these are automatic. In column mounted gears, the gear lever was mounted on the steering column behind the steering wheel. The gears were changed by shifting the gear lever up or down. Reverse could be engaged by pushing the gear down and then shifting it to one side. These column mounted gears had their own problems. Here is what Tutu Dhawan says. Tutu is a Delhi based car restorer, former motorsport rallist and one who has lots of hands on experience with cars. Yeah, yeah, floor mounted gears, they last longer and it's a sure shift. Whereas if you're talking of a column mounted gear shift, there are there is a lot of linkages in that. In each of the linkages, there are bushes. In the good old days, there used to be rubber bushes and, and, and metal bushes. And within a year or two of use, they used to get worn out and they used to be you know, one had to fight with the gears in the column shift, especially in ambassadors and they had a lot of issues in this. Yeah, for manual, there is 100% floor shift now. And for automatics, yes, there is a, a stick shift on the column. When you are talking of quick gear changes, especially for sports, motor sports. So that was not the ideal system for changing gears. It was not a swift change. There used to be a lag and especially for uh, racing and rallying, you require a sure shot mm, shift and you require a sure shot, uh, uh, you know, slot where the gift gear is going.
The new generation of boys and girls may not be able to comprehend how vehicles and its technology have evolved in the last few decades. Compared to modern cars, the erstwhile ambassador car was quite boxy looking with sparse interiors, archaic technology and limited engine finesse. But during its heydays, the ambassador had its own unique characteristics and temperament. It was fun to drive, comfortable and quite spacious. In fact, it was never a dull moment with the ambassador.